Guys, welcome to this new Nuft car review. So today I'm reviewing the new Mercedes C-Class, but not in real life, not in Germany, but I have Tom here and Tom is in Stuttgart driving the C-Class for me. And I'm just here in my studio. So let's see and find out more about this new Mercedes C-Class. Yeah, hello from my side. Uh, I'm Tom Hinsken. I um, work in the development of plug-in hybrids at Mercedes-Benz. And today I show you the C300e, our new plug-in hybrid with uh, 100 km electric range. So we have in front the uh, uh, four-cylinder petrol engine with 320 newton meters and 150 kilowatt. And we have the electric machine with 95 kilowatt and 440 newton meters. And we have uh, in the back um, with uh, without a step in the boot now the big battery with uh, 25.4 kilowatt hours so that means according to the WLTP we can reach uh, 100 kilometer approximately uh, but uh, we have um, it's still not certified so I don't have an uh, exact exactly range but um, so it's more or less a hundred kilometers of range, uh, purely electric. Uh, and what what is uh, the total range? So the two combined. Um, the car now said um, I get. Uh, you can see in the instrument cluster, I get I get a range of 405 kilometer petrol, and 103 kilometer of electric range. So combined, it's now uh, 508 kilometers. But it's not a full tank, and uh, it is fully charged. Yeah, not um, not that full, but almost full. So yeah. basically, the interior is like a, a normal C-Class, but um, we have uh, in the plug-in we have the EQ button, where I can go to the EQ oh. menu, uh, where I have um, the charging options, and now you can see it's 99 percent yeah. um, of the high voltage battery, and the car sets it's 103 kilometers. And if I want to, I can set a departure time. So maybe seven o'clock in the morning, I will start. Uh, that means that in seven o'clock in the morning, the car has, be, is, has been fully charged and the um, interior is uh, heating up or cooled down. And also battery conditions are optimized. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And if I yeah. use uh, public infrastructure, uh, we offer our customers uh, DC charging with uh, 55 kilowatt uh, that means in half an hour the car has been fully charged or with an AC charger up to 11 kilowatt that means in two hours the car will be charged mm -hmm. at a wall box and um, if I use public infrastructure I can set maybe to 70 percent so that means if I have to use public infrastructure with um, with my car and um, at home I can charge cheaper so I can set here in the menu, so charge only to 70% because then I can drive back home um, yeah. and charge there fully up. Yeah. yeah. So this plug-in hybrid will be the most uh, important model, I suppose, of the new generation. Good. Sorry for uh, the interruption. So all the C-Class are hy hybridized. We have mild hybrids and yeah. plug-in hybrids. Okay. And I'd have to ask, um, but what about the uh, AMG lineup? No more V engines, I guess? Uh, a good question, but this is only the session for Mercedes-Benz C-Class, so uh, thanks for yeah. understanding. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, all right. But, uh, Jonas, yeah. you, you are in the, 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 the session, the uh, AMG session, so mm -hmm. then you can go nuts in your question. All right. All right. I will. I will. All right. So, Tom, um, where where are we right now? We're in Germany somewhere? Yeah, or? In yeah. Germany, in Stuttgart. And we will drive a short loop um, through uh, the city. And we'll... Let me and the camera, but you can continue. Okay. We'll just log in. Okay. Uh, so, we will start at uh, 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 Stuttgart Möhringen. And we will finish around the, the airport. Um, so you can you can see we have um, uh, simplified our driving programs. So that means there are three specific hybrid um, plug-in hybrid driving programs. This uh, is electric, and this is our new default driving program. So if the customer charges his car, uh, he will always start in the electric mode, 
um, electric driving program. That means that um, there will be a pressure point in the acceleration pedal. Um, so you know the driver uh, gets a feedback uh, how how hard he can push on the pedal before the combustion engine will kick in. Wait, so that's like some kind of a um, comparable with the haptic system where you can feel in the pedal where you go through the point of purely electric and go to combined. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So that means if I press uh, to this point I will get the 95 kilowatt and if I press a bit more the combustion engine yeah. will kick in and I can use the uh, 230 kilowatt combined. The plug-in hybrid is our uh, daily electric car for um, for your daily routine um, so that means we have now set um, the recuperation um, like in the EQ models that means now I have um, the de-automatic recuperation level you can see in the instrument cluster that means the car um, will uh, recuperate um, like uh, for the car in front or a speed limit in front or roundabout and if I don't want to have this de-automatic I can switch the recuperation stage like um, with, by pressing the plus pedal behind the steering wheel so that means we have D plus it's yeah. some kind of sailing and when I press uh, D um, uh, the, the minus I will go to D or D minus and D minus is like um, the one pedal feeling um, that means now the deceleration of the car was done by recuperation and not by the hydraulic brake system. So now it's the first time I put my foot on the uh, brake pedal um, uh, just before I still stand. So it is one pedal drive comparable with uh, an, an, an EQC. Also the, uh, when you uh, use the pedals it works like uh, an electric car. not. Yeah. And, and you can switch, uh, depending on the driving mode, you can switch to either have brake uh, recuperation settings or uh, shifting with the gears. Yeah, uh, so um, okay. if I want to, I can, uh, can shift gears, um, uh, but not in electric mode, because um, in electric mode you will drive uh, just electric. And if mm -hmm. I now switch to the hybrid driving program and go to the shor drive shortcut menu, you can see here there's the um, manual shifting. So if I press now this manual shifting, the combustion engine will start and then the pedals uh, will be used for shifting yeah. the gears. Or I can just go to the sports program and then it's automatically always uh, yeah. changing gears because the combustion engine is running. Very nice. Um, could you show me the, um, the navigation, the, the map in the, in the central display? So now this is the navigation, uh, maybe it's uh, like this. Um, so now it's Stuttgart Fasanenhof. So for the driving programs, um, there's um, the, as well the battery hold so that I can have, um, that the battery will stay at the level of charging so that um, if I know I will drive in an urban area later, I can save uh, my energy and the battery that I can drive fully electric in the urban area. Yeah, so you can reserve a certain amount of battery power uh, for your destination. Yes. Um, right. And if I uh, drive, um, I, I enter a destination in the navigation system and the destination is uh, far away than the electric range, uh, and I switch to the hybrid driving program, the car automatically will decide uh, on which part of the route it's uh, better to drive electric and on which part it's better to drive out of the combustion engine. So um, if I drive from Stuttgart to Hamburg maybe, um, I will drive on the German Autobahn on the, on the highway, I will drive out of the combustion engine that I can drive um, uh, to my destination in the city of Hamburg I can drive fully electric and this will, the car will do automatically. So it's a very intelligent system. Um, does it also, is it ready for autonomous driving? 
this like the 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 s class was because i see some similarities uh, in the interior but on that more on that later um does it drive itself i really don't know about the rollout uh, features of the automatic driving uh, in all the specific models <laughs> so i'm very sorry maybe tilo uh. yes so from my side um the level three drive planet as you know from the s class is not available in the c class okay yeah but there, there has to be a difference because I was wondering, um, interior is very similar, especially with the center uh, console of that of the, the S-Class. Um, it, it looks very uh, luxurious, comfortable, but it is a C-Class. So my question is, is it also a lot more expensive now? Or is it, have you been able to have added luxury, but with the same entry price? Uh, today we communicated the uh, prices for Germany, so it starts uh, um, the C180 sedan well, saloon starts um, uh, 48,000 euros. Okay, yeah. yeah. In, Belgium, in Belgium we will release the prices uh, maybe tomorrow, okay. tomorrow, but we will um, follow the same politics. Uh, for the uh, executions, like in Europe, which means the car will be more expensive, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Uh, but it will be quite full option for the Belgian market. Okay. So for example, metal paint will be included, or uh, parking assist and these kind of things. Mm. So you, you will not be able to compare really the two prices no. from now and before. There so is, of course, a, 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 a price uh, augmentation with, uh, just, um, if you compare it to the, um, the um, early, the, the 205, but uh, I will explain it and we will um, yeah. we have a, a press uh, communication about that. Okay, okay. So there is a level up. Sorry. Uh, you will get the, the multi beam LED or the LED is uh, standard and yeah. digital light is an option. In the predecessor, it was. Uh, the halogen uh, uh, headlamps, um, there are more examples of that. Yeah. You will get, for the price, you will get another or better package than the predecessor. Uh, mm -hmm. Between the C class and the S class, some, some differences. You, you will not get the 3D instrument cluster in the C class. Okay. And you yeah. will also not, uh, not get the uh, augmented reality header display. So there is, between the two sisters or the two brothers, there is a, a difference. Okay, uh, but get, uh, it's another or a good example for more luxury in the interior. The the central display is a uh, is um, driver orientated, six degrees to the driver. That's yep. also a little bit different between okay. S and C class. Okay, yeah. So it actually is a different uh, console. It's not exactly the same. It just it's it's a d in the design language. Um, it's the same, but it's it's a completely different. Um, Element. Okay. It's, a, it's a more driver orientated car. Yes, that is a driver. There is um, yeah, MBOX on every screen. Uh, with the S class or the, the Maybach S class, um, yeah. also the rear department is um, there's also a focus on the rear department of the car. And with the, uh, with the C class, you have definitely a, a modern luxury meets driving dynamics, so you have definitely a driver orientated car. Yeah. All right, and for the rest, I can uh, imagine that MBUX also has evolved with this new C-Class. Is it the same as the, the one we saw in the in the S-Class before, or what's different? The MBUX system is nearly the same, but it does not have the, uh, the face recognition in the, in the instrument cluster. That is important for, um, for the bio, bio, biometric uh, authentication. Yeah. Um, so you have the fingerprint, the voice, um, and the touch, the pin. Um, but in the, in the system, there is um, set of the uh, 3D instrument cluster and augmented reality out of this day. It's, it's nearly the same system. Mm -hmm. You have a um, smaller screen, so this is an 11.9 inch screen. Okay. Uh, the S Plus has the 12.8 uh, uh, inch screen with OLED. This is only uh, LCD, but uh, the system uh, is nearly the same. Back to the car. Sorry about that, Tom. <laughs> so you're just no, driving no around. No <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, it's your session, not mine. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 
<laughs> um, all right. I'm, so, now, I'm now on the highway. I want to show you because I have to drive off um, very soon. So in the instrumental cluster, I switched to the assistance uh, menu. And now you can see there's a truck in front of me and I'm driving ahead to him. And now the car says to me, uh, lift off your foot off the gas and then the car will decelerate with the recuperation and will uh, get the energy back um, without using the hydraulic foot brake. So that means if um, okay. I'm a bit forward looking and I um, watch on these small hints we will give the driver, um, I can um, reduce my uh, energy consumption. Yeah. And does it have assisted steering when you start uh, when you initiate uh, a takeover will it change lanes itself or is that something you need to do yourself i don't know exactly about this car so <laughs> i'm sorry i'm <laughs> i'm doing the powertrain software not the <laughs> uh, automatic uh, driving um, tom maybe you can uh, switch the, the inspectors of the classic mode just for because sure. we are Driving yeah. So we're yeah. driving now fully electric, even on uh, the highway. So the combustion engine didn't run, um, even if I drive 105 uh, kilometers an hour. And what is the range left right now um, on your battery? Because there's quite a glare in the instrument panel. I cannot. So the the electric range is now 87 kilometers. And we have driven 15 kilometers. Yeah. And now I take the exit and I press a minus minus behind the steering wheel. And now I will get the energy back with the recuperation. And you can see the consumption is reducing, the calculated consumption, because I get energy back with this brake maneuver. And now I'm not even uh, touch the brake pedal. And now I'm at the traffic light and I have to to break onto this traffic light the last few meters. So the rest of the deceleration was purely recovering uh, battery power. How much range can you um, get from this recuperation? Uh? It depends on your own driving and on the um, on the route you, you, you are driving. If you have uh, if you drive um, down a hill you can recuperate very much energy. Um, Can you fill the battery again, downhill? <laughs> yeah, if, if the route is long enough, uh, maybe uh, you can Ooh. get. Um, so, yeah, we have 100 kilowatt recuperation maximum, um, but you will decelerate, decelerate with this recuperation uh, level. So, yeah, if uh, maybe you drive um, from the Mont Blanc down, maybe it's getting full, but uh, I, yeah, you have not likely in normal use. No. In normal use, uh, it's a very big battery, so um, yeah, but you can get energy back and reduce your consumption. Um, another big thing I've seen um, about this car, but it it is on the outside of the car, is the rear wheel steering um, will. All the C-classes have this? Is this a standard or is it, is it an option? The rear end steering is an option. Okay, okay. But not for the plug-in hybrid view, I think. It's yes. So rear wheel steering will not be an option for hybrid cars? Only yes, for the 48-volt cars as an option? As an option, Okay, yes, okay. Sorry. Uh, and I've seen the saloon and the estate. Um, will they be released at the same time? Yes, oh. um, market introduction for the saloon and the estate is in June. Okay, but so, um, they, they are coming. Um, they are coming uh, to the same time. Uh, but we will start with plug-in hybrid in September, mm -hmm. and we will start with the saloon, and then the estate is coming later. Okay, and um, there's also a, a coupe and a convertible? Um, good question. But uh, for this year, we will start with the saloon and the estate. Yeah. So we keep you updated regarding the coupe and the right. uh, cabriolet. When will it be available for, uh, for ordering? 
That's a good question for Bastian because in Germany yeah. we have, you can uh, consider configurate your from, from today on. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Normally, I got the information that the systems will be ready uh, tomorrow, today maybe tomorrow when yeah when we leave the devices were accepted, so the systems will be ready this week anyway. The systems being the configurator yeah, yeah, uh, online. Configurator. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So the first one on the road will be around September. Yes. Okay. All right, Tom. <laughs> Sorry. Back to you. Are you are you back in your uh, your starting spot already or? No. Um, we will finish at the the, um, uh, the fair. The Stuttgart Fair. Um, so um, I'm going back now, uh, maybe a few kilometers. So now we have driven 19 kilometers fully electric, um, and uh, the driver can see in the instrument cluster uh, down uh, under the EQ sign. This is what uh, we have driven fully electric, and how the consumption is. Uh, so now it's 15.8 kilowatt. Uh, 100 km, kilowatt hour, 100 kilometer. We still have 84 kilometers left. Yeah. And what is in the center console right now? Because the resolution is, is quite low right now, but is it a front-facing camera that, uh, that you can uh, put on yeah, the, the any, at any the, moment? The traffic light. So I'm a, I'm a big guy, uh, well, tall guy, so I don't have to look like this. Um, I can see in the MBUX screen uh, the traffic light. All right, yeah, yeah, of course. All right, all right. That's really handy for tall guys, yeah. What about the luxury? Um, is there stuff like massage seats and uh, heated, cooled uh, seats, stuff like that? You have different uh, massage programs in the seats as an option. Yeah. Um, but the uh, hot stone massage, I think that's exclusive for the S-Class. The what? The, the hot stone massage? Hot stone massage is exclusive for the S-Class. Really? Damn. Yeah. Um, and also the... the I, I'm not sure what you call them. Um, the, the programs where you see these uh, visuals on the center screen and... The energizing comfort uh, that's programs, it. You, can, uh, you can do this also in the ambience of the C-Class. All right. Yeah. I've also seen these projecting headlights. Uh, you can choose digital light as an option. Yes. And digital light has some projections on the street. A warning symbol uh, um, if you, if you, um, if you uh, drive through a um, construction zone. But these projections are um, um, regulations in your in your country so they can be um, there are different regulations in each country so yeah um, the certification for light is really difficult so that's why maybe some of the protections are allowed in germany and they are not allowed in belgium so yeah i'm not um, i haven't sure seen any any projections oh, so, sorry sorry yeah but there are projections on the street for digital light but maybe. in not in Belgium, maybe because I haven't seen any of them. Um, my car had it, and I was trying to to review it because I cannot imagine what it would look like. Um, yeah. But it never did it, so maybe that's because of the regulations that it it's not allowed here in Belgium. Yeah, maybe Bastian can answer this question. So what uh, what car did you have? The S Class. I had an S 350D, uh, yeah. the the short one, uh, the short, yeah. the normal one, yeah. If you if you drive um, um, or if you overtake a, a red light, then you get a warning symbol. Or if you are at the stop sign and you want to drive fa too fast to the stop sign, you will get the, the warning symbol as a triangle and stuff like that. Pro but projected on the road surface in front of you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, so now we are at the end of our, of our round. I would like to say a good thank you to Tom. Yeah, thank you. And, so, uh, what, what, one, one sorry for the interruption. So, one, uh, we drive uh, 23 kilometers and we still have 81 kilometers uh, in the battery. So, that means uh, with this driving, uh, even we were on the highway, we can reach uh, the 100 kilometer electric range. So, we have the 
the, for your daily routine, you can use the plug-in hybrid fully electric in, in your urban mm -hmm. area. All right, Tom, thanks a lot for your, uh, your driving. Guys, I think that this is quite new for me, so I'm not in the car. All super fast, all super fast. <laughs> yeah. 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 But uh, during this time, it's an opportunity for you and for us to yeah to talk about the car and, uh, and see the cars driving. And, uh, but in summer, we will do the press test drive, and hopefully, traveling is allowed, and then we can yeah uh, sit in the car and feel the car and uh, get a uh, get a feeling of the of course. driving dynamics of the seat. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Thank you. guys. Bye. See you next time. Bye. 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 Guys, thanks so much for watching this first virtual co-drive. Let me know if you like this uh, concept of a virtual drive. I know it's better to sit in the car and tell about the car while driving it, but uh, with COVID, it's not that obvious anymore to do it. Um, and I'm glad that I can already show you the new C-Class while it's not even in Belgium. See you next time, guys, in a real or a virtual car drive. Bye.